A guitar can be so many things. For me in my life, it's been a shield, it's been a weapon, and um, the vehicle by which I've gotten to have an incredible artistic and emotional life. I knew from listening to music at a very early age that there was nothing that gave me that feeling but music, that magic feeling, that intangible. And I remember when I first wanted to play guitar, I saw the movie La Bamba, which is the life story of Richie Valens. There was a guitar like his, it was plastic, it didn't actually play, but it was a little red Strat, and I begged my mom for it. and then. From age four on, I was just obsessed with the little plastic guitar. I would draw guitars, I would make them out of cardboard and rubber bands. They were my full, full obsession. And then I started playing a f a just a, f a few years after that. In those days, Nirvana, Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, the grunge thing had really swept the nation and changed everything for everybody. And um, I was one of those kids who, who was so moved by it. So when I first started playing guitar and going to guitar lessons and saying, hey, teach me, smells like teen spirit, and I could play it and make the sound like my heroes made, I was just blown away. I felt like I'd gotten the keys to the kingdom. to meet this family and see how tight it was, how well run it was, how much it really, really, really felt like a mom and pop operation. I just connected with that. I was really honestly astounded when I drew a little sketch and then they said, okay, well we can we can make we'll make this. We think this is really interesting. Let's pursue this. I think the general idea was to make a guitar kind of from the ground up, where you, you just take things and distill them down to their most basic forms. What I prefer in design in all kinds of things, so I thought why not apply it to the guitar. It couldn't just be a design object. <laughs> it had to be really, really, really friendly. It had to be the kind of guitar that you just you pick up and then you don't want to play any other guitars. I think in order to make something of quality, you have to start with really quality raw ingredients, raw material. Um, and a lot of people, I guess, don't don't think about it, but you know, this is great, great wood that was once a tree being sculpted and molded into this thing that's going to give you life. When I came in and saw the factory, and saw all the moving parts and all the high-tech robotics, and then all of the skilled craftsmen and women, it seemed like people had been here for a really long time. It was really great to just watch the level of detail and care that everybody put into the making of the guitar. And that's that kind of detail and care is why it's so Clearly and so player friendly. And to think that um, after playing guitar for 20 years and loving it so passionately that I had a tool that was made specifically with me in mind it was just phenomenal. I was like a kid in a candy store. Um, it's my favorite guitar to play. It's the 
It's the only guitar I've been reaching for since I got it. And I think it'll continue to be that tool for me. I can't imagine a world where I wouldn't be able to play guitar. It would, it would be like killing a best friend. I mean, they would just be, I would have a, I would have a phantom limb if I couldn't play guitar.